Hi, Anthony Carlo, and standing alongside me is Justin Pugh, starting offensive tackle of the New York Football Giants. Thank you, Justin, for being alongside me. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. So, Justin, despite finishing 6-10 and 10 and not making the playoffs, what are some things you think that the team can improve on moving into next season? You know, we had a little rough patch there in, in the middle of the season. We started out, you know, we had the 3-2 and two record. Everyone was like, oh, they could be the, the team of the NFC East this year. And then, obviously, we had a little rough patch there. We, we had some inju injuries, but that's no excuse because everyone goes through injuries. So, the thing we're building off of is the way we finish the season. We were able to, you know, find our groove offensively um, and really – you know, send us into the offseason feeling good about where we're heading. And I think that's something that uh, I'm definitely excited about. And getting the OTAs, we're definitely going to, uh, you know, get after it and, and, and find out where we're at. So you've talked a little bit about the new offense you guys have been trying to learn, and you started out a little slow with it, but towards the end of the season you were doing really well. What are some of the things you can take into this season, especially with players like Victor Cruz and Odell Beckham Jr. in that offense? It's, it's about building like cohesiveness. So you want to have the same five starting offensive line, and we had a little shuffle there. I went down, Jeff Schwartz going down, getting guys back, getting them healthy. Obviously Victor coming back healthy will be huge for us. Um, so really it's just building that, that chemistry, and I think that's something the team had last year, but the injuries definitely uh, you know, derailed us and, and, and limited that for us. So I think getting those guys back and getting them out there is going to be huge. And obviously you have Eli Manning, who uh, as long as he's at the helm, I think we got, a, we got a chance to win a lot of games. Now you spoke about going down uh, with an injury and moving towards next season throughout the offseason, what are some things you can do to try and vo avoid coming down with another injury? You know, definitely building strength. Like I, like I said earlier, it's uh, I didn't have any surgeries this year, so I'm able to get right back into the weight room, get back to strength training, and, and you're building up those muscles around the important joints, around your knees, around your shoulders, you know, to help you stay healthy throughout the season. And I, I changed up my diet. I went to a gluten-free diet, so hopefully that will help give me more energy. And then this year, you know, every week I do the acupuncture, I do the massages, the cold tubs. I started doing this cryotherapy, which is like they put you in this tube and they, and they put in liquid nitrogen and it goes down to like negative... 300 degrees and helps you. it makes your body feel like you're going into like hypothermia so it starts pumping blood to like your legs your arms and helps get new blood in there so it's something that I found helped me out a lot and it's something I'm gonna you know definitely implement next year as well and being at this recreational sports center tonight there are so many young athletes aspiring to be just like you what is your message to them set goals and dream big because that's the that's the biggest thing where parents will tell kids you know what do you want to be when you grow up and I always always say I want to be in the NFL you know and it, well, what do you really want to do so I always talk about setting goals and, and telling the kids to just keep working towards whatever they want because if if I didn't kept following my dream I may not be where I'm at today so maybe they won't end up being in the NFL but if you try to live your life like you're trying to make it to the NFL you're going to do a lot of great things you're going to end up in a, in a great spot and you're going to be you know just a just a great man in general so I just tell these kids to whatever they want to do go for it and always uh, you know always be happy thanks so much Justin no honored to be alongside New York Giants tackle Justin Pugh